hey guys welcome back to my channel i cannot show the full video here but i will leave the link down below what what heart did was to turn that into this so now i'm going to try it for you guys so let's begin sorry about that left hand there should not be there in the first place okay so what he did was to <coughs> use two different types of blue at the top using the um what do you call the knife there again man oh lord the palette knife using the palette knife it's a different blue at the very top i did not have that exact blue as as um wow hard so i used a different blue but um it worked out well i don't know why i even bothered to try the using the palette knife because i already messed up at the side with the yellow there i should have just went ahead with the paintbrush only but i wanted to do the exact thing as how he did it so he then moved on to the paintbrush the paintbrush that, that i'm using now wasn't doing the job as well so as you see there i changed over to a smaller brush and that works better so now i'm blending now i'm adding a bit more white to mine because his seems a bit lighter he then moved on to the bottom half mixing the three colors that you see there what i realized doing this tutorial was that i kept on wondering if i should do it exact exact like 100 percent exactly how the the other artists did it so i kept on doubting myself on what i should do and i already know how to do it but i keep questioning myself should i do it like the artist or my way The clouds were very easy to do. He used a sponge, but in the end, I realized that I should have faded the bottom half of the cloud a bit more. But apart from that, the clouds were very easy to to do. This tutorial has taught me a lot about what I want to do and like to do. I didn't get that bubbly feeling doing this painting here i realized that i want to explore more with different mediums not only paints not only watercolor paints not only acrylic paints but different types of paints different types of mediums such as charcoal chalk pastel salt technique that i did the other day um paper that's just me as i said before you know in one of my videos that i really like mixed media painting and i really do understand that i really really like mixed media painting and trying different mediums and materials on my art this tutorial has taught me that today here i'm putting in the background it represents um the the bushes in the mid ground i should say right here i'm adding the grass using the fan brush i also realized that i want to do artworks that sends a message like a really strong message this artwork does give a message a certain type of message but I don't think it's really my cup of tea <laughs> so yes I really want to do artworks that sends a message or have a great meaning towards it so I also realized that from doing this tutorial here those are some highlights at the top of the grass And 
that is one of the reason why I started YouTube for my new subscribers here that is one of the reason why I started YouTube because I wanted to push myself to try different materials different medium different types of artwork because I want to explore art in on a whole I want to experience art on a whole I don't want to just stick to painting acrylic painting acrylic painting acrylic painting watercolor painting etc I want to try a whole range of different art and using different materials so that is what the reason why I started YouTube because this will push me to master my skills in different in different areas I should say there I added uh, dandelions it represents dandelions I realized that I should have spaced it out a bit more to make it look more like flowers or dandelions when I'm teaching I do not get the time to practice my own art and to practice different areas in art so this is the platform where I can do my art and share it with others to document my experience, document where I started from and where I will be in the end. I always say what's the purpose of doing art if I do not have anyone to show it to or share it with. Here I was having a bit of trouble doing the tree because of the sponge or it could be because of the type of brown that I use. It's not the same brown that the artist use. I realized that I want to do art that makes me feel satisfied and in the end make others satisfied as well. So come along everyone, join my journey in developing in art, join the Artwork Fly fam, and welcome to my new subscribers here. Okay, so what I'm doing here is to add some highlights at the edge, at the edge of the tree, or at the end of the tree. What I'm doing here, I'm adding some more highlights or more representation of the dandelion. Not to mention when you have a family, you have to put them first. So therefore, Sometimes I would like to practice my art but do not have the time or the energy or I have to deal with some family issue or something. So I do not get the time to practice my art as much or focus on my art as much. This channel really motivates me to get up, find the energy and do my videos do my art okay so looking at this art piece I felt or I feel that the tree needed more work it, it seems faded at the edges or at the ends around the tree if you get what I'm saying I probably had too much paint on the sponge The camera was not recording when I was pulling off the first and second tape. So here's a big reveal. Eh. 
not bad but not my cup of tea if you like or want paintings like these i can always do it for you for a cost my pocket is dry see what i did there please remember to like share comment subscribe and hit the bell so you can always know when i upload